Well, Jesse Norman was an icon, a trailblazer, well-known in opera music circles and a world-renowned class act. The Augusta native died in Manhattan after battling an illness related to a spinal injury. Haley Mason sat down with leaders in Atlanta's music community who organized one of Norman's final concerts. It was here inside the Glen Memorial Auditorium that renowned singer Jesse Norman gave one of her very last performances. She took her talents from her hometown of Augusta and left an indelible mark on the world. Known around the world as one of America's most renowned lyric sopranos, opera powerhouse Jesse Norman has died at 74 years old. One of her final performances happened at the storied Atlanta Music Festival. My breath was taken away when, when she came to the stage because here was the living, the living icon in front of us. Stephen Darcy invited Norman to perform in front of the crowd of hundreds. The process took three years. They were here to hear Jesse Norman, and they were not disappointed, let me put it that way. She, she brought the house down four times. Norman was born and raised in Augusta. At 16, she entered Howard University on a full scholarship and earned a degree in music before studying at Peabody Conservatory and the University of Michigan. Darcy had just communicated with Norman last month, asking to put her performance on a CD that's about to be released. She said, I apologize for the delay in responding. I've been in the hospital. She became the youngest person to receive a Kennedy Center honor. She earned several Grammys, a National Medal of Arts Award, and more than 40 honorary doctorate degrees. In some ways, by her success, her sheer virtuosity and tenacity, she opens up the door so that people don't think of it as being strange that an African-American woman could sing opera or would want to sing opera. So we'll always be grateful because she changed the landscape. Reporting in Atlanta, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.